Yo what's up guys welcome to my humble youtube channel where I bring you fanfiction that will brighten your days. Before we start a subscribe is greatly appreciated and don't forget to leave a like and ring the bell icon so you won't miss exciting new fanfiction stories. That time when my daughter from another timeline visited me by Kirito Bamber. Chapter 18. Rizu's Dream Space, Tensira Universe. Rimuru fly through space and arrive not so far away to the moon. Where is that bastard? Less than less than in the moon, at the center of the crater, greater than greater than. There, he found Ivaraj buried in the rubbles. It's obvious because a huge crater was made in the moon after Rimuru's destructive attack. With a cold expression on his face, he approached Ivaraj while pulling his own sword Tempest Sword. Space have no magicules floating around, in short, a vacuum, so Rimuru has to rely on his own eyes to see. Magic sense, after all, is an ability that used magicule floating around, like an air, to see in a 360 degree view. Also, with no magicules around, an ordinary magical creature can't use magic, but Rimuru was different. He possessed the ability called, imaginary space, that stores magicules infinitely. Also with the ability, turn null, that serve as the magicule provider, Rimuru was unbeatable, especially when it comes to an endurance battle. He stopped midway after sensing Ivaraj aura that suddenly erupted. Hya. Huff. Huff. You. Ivaraj shout as his terrifying aura blow up all the rubbles piling in his body. He has a huge hole in his stomach after Rimuru punch him in the gut. Although he is strong and has a huge magicule count, Rimuru's ability to nullify all magic and skill surpass those. He even have to make another body of his and transfer all his ability and consciousness just to recover. Although he will lose 10% of his magicule storage, for Ivaraj, it was just a small amount. But he's still mad about it. Parallel existence. Huh. Thought Rimuru. Damn you. Damn you. Damn you. Ra. The aura gushing out from his body was so strong and evil that the space around him was starting to distort, creating mini black holes. What's more dangerous is that the aura he was unleashing engulf one of the neighboring planet and devour its life force. Is he using that to recover? This is bad. After he rose up, he materialized a weapon that has an ominous aura. It was a living black long sword that has many eye on it. He then kicked the ground and fly towards Rimuru with an intent to kill. Damn you, I won't forgive you, I will kill you, rag? Ivaraj yelled angrily as he approached Rimuru. The physical enhancement after absorbing the life force of a planet was powerful and his speed was already comparable to Rimuru. Though not by much, his movements did show signs he had experience battling someone using a weapon. However, from Rimuru's point of view, he was full of openings. His speed indeed comparable to Rimuru, when holding back, but Rimuru's calculative power can predict any move that Ivaraj do. It will be dangerous if I let him live any longer, he will just get stronger. Seal, release all restraints, I'm going all out, is what Rimuru thought. Less than less than understood. Releasing all restraints. Successful. It's ready master. Greater than greater than. Thanks. Now to finish this. Ra, Ivaraj launched a countless number of sword attacks at Rimuru. Rimuru moved after every one, swinging his sword to divert the course of every attack made his way. When Ivaraj was attempting to slash Rimuru's head, Rimuru ducked to dodge it. Then he unleashed his one of the strongest sword attack that surpassed time a technique that void collapse thousand chaos slash of the void world can slash and penetrate through anything whether it was in spiritual body or the material body it's an unavoidable attack that ignores all magic the technique was so strong that it almost ripped the space itself thankfully seal prevented it by focusing the destructive energy to ivaraj only clank rimuru put his sword to its cane and mutter who done at last, while looking at Ivaraj's vanishing body. Ivaraj was cut in many pieces and was about to disappear, but before it happened, the soul of his minion suddenly merged in him. What is that? A soul? Is what Rimuru thought after seeing the soul floating and enter Ivaraj's body. The cryptids that Guy and others defeated had evolved into an uncontrollable monster. The only reason why the cryptids die was because they can't control it. However, when the soul together with their power merged inside Ivaraj, it triggered Ivaraj's evolution. 
Confirm. The required conditions have been met. Evolution to godly being the ultimate evil true dragon god will now begin. Less than less than this is bad master. We have to stop this. Greater than greater than, you don't have to tell me that. Rag, void nova break. This attack was similar to Milam's Drago Nova that destroy anything on its way and can penetrate to any barrier. Using it to halt Ivaraj evolutionary ritual is a good move, but contrary to Rimuru's expectation, instead of hitting Ivaraj, the attack suddenly came at him. Wa it was repelled. Tch. Azathoth. Hum, no, this force and energy. It feels like I was hit by my own attack. Less than less than correct. It was just as you surmised, master. The attack had been reflected. Greater than greater than. Wa how? How could he do that? Less than less than it was a skill most likely. A self-created ultimate skill. Ivaraj is still a visitor in this world so the rule didn't apply to him. Greater than greater than. Is that so? Yikes. What a cheat. Rimuru watched Ivaraj as his body wrap around with his own magicule leakage. It formed into gigantic egg that was sized as human. Then a few seconds, it break. Crack, 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 crack. It shatters. Coming out of it was Ivaraj with his new form and power. This is bad. This is really, really bad. Ha 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 ha. With this power, you can't defeat me now. What now? Do I still have a chance to win against him? Less than less than you still have a chance to win master. Though his power was already comparable to you, his power is still a newly acquired. Greater than greater than. Oh. You're right. I shouldn't let down myself like that there's still many opportunities for me to win. You cannot call a battle a battle, if you give up in the first place. He, thanks, partner, I have my confidence back. Looks like there's no time to play around, time to get serious. Rizu Pav northwest of Jura Tempest after the battle between the cryptids, Guy and the others was reserving their strength in case something bad happened. In that place, Rizu was sleeping after the trauma she experienced. Hanada and other Rimuru's subordinates was beside Rizu to protect her. Then, Rizu suddenly had a dream. I opened my eyes and suddenly I'm in a place that was bright. There weren't any light sources around so you can see that it was just a pure white place. Wait. Where am I? This is not Tempest. I'm not in heaven, right? I was sure this was just an imaginary landscape. Great Sage. Can you explain what happened, Great Sage? Oh no. It looks like this dimension prevent any skill usage. I panicked while thinking what happened before I get here. Yeah. Now I remember. I'm in the forest of Jura when the enemy Ivaraj attacked. It was the same being that killed my papa and mama. I was so terrified when I see him. Calm down, Rizu. Calm down. Focus, focus. Ito. From what I remember, I cried. After that, I lost consciousness. So uncool, is what I thought. R-I-Z-U. Someone called my name. It was a voice I was familiar with. I looked around, then I spotted two person. When I see their faces, I cried suddenly. Seeing their faces made me speechless and unable to move. So I just stare them from the place I was standing. I forgot what my own worry and why I'm scared. Right now, my only focus is the two person in front of me. P-Pap Papa. M-Ma Mama. I finally said something. After that, I tried to move my body and then run towards them. I hugged them with all my might, with a feeling of not letting them go. Papa, Mama, I miss you, I really, really miss you both, I thought. I thought I would not see Mama and Papa again, I said while crying. It's okay Rizu. Me and your mother also miss you, Papa Rimuru said. That's right. He, even though you grow into a fine girl, you are still a kid. Mama Shizu said. M. Mu. Stop teasing me. Mama. Because of my mama's teasing, I stop crying. I wipe my tears from my face and tried to calm down. Fufu. Anyway, I'm really glad to see you grown up. As a mother, this is the most happiest day of my life. Mama hugged me while saying those words to me. Yeah. Me too. This is the most happiest day of my life. After a minute of hugging each other, I remember something. Anyway, how did mama and papa get here? Don't tell me, this is just really a dream. I asked while shaking. If this was dream, I will just sleep here together with papa and mama forever. Yeah, I will do that. 
But Mama and Papa deny it, making me feel relieved. Don't joke, Razu, of course not. Yes, your mother is right. When me and your mother was defeated, Ivaraj absorbed our body and soul. We thought we just gonna stay inside his stomach forever. Thankfully, the other me punched Ivaraj in the stomach, causing him to vomit a few souls he absorbed. Luckily, we're one of those souls. He, he, Papa explained. Is that so? Wow, my Papa here is amazing, is what I said. Right, your Papa really is amazing, Mama also agreed. Hey, Shizu san, praising other men in my presence is unforgivable, you know, Papa said in an annoyed tone. It's still you, right? So what's the problem? Besides, Rimuru is still the Rimuru I love. Shizu san. Papa Rimuru mutter while blushing. Fufu. Anyway, Razu, you have to go back now. This realm we are in is limited. It will not last any longer. What? But I want to be with Mama and Papa forever. I don't want to leave, I said. Yes, I know. Me and your Papa also want that. You have to be strong, Razu. Remember that we are always together with you every time. Yes, we are always together with, with you, in here. Mama said while pointing the part where my heart located. Both of them give me a hug while saying, There are more people that love and care for you, Razu. That's why you have to go back, to me. It made me happy to hear that. And this hug. I liked it. It's the same when Papa hugged me when I'm crying in Futon. It's so. So warm. I understand. I will go back. To protect my friends and my family. Fufu. I'm proud of you, my daughter. Mama said to me as the bright light engulfed the whole place. Confirm. The required conditions have been met. Evolution into a goddess of hero will now be 